All right, here's something kind of interesting that uh, I discovered. Uh, my last video, I showed this a little electrostatic motor uh, running next to my computer fan outlet and rotating around on the wind coming the breeze uh, coming out of the vent from the computer and I thought it was picking up a charge and I had the little brushes on this electrostatic motor and uh, for a while there I thought it was uh, being run electrostatically with the charge coming off of the computer and being blown on that motor and then I just took the little brushes off and of course it just ran just fine with no brushes on it being blown by the the air coming out of the computer vent and I thought well I should try different things to see what can push that little rotor around because uh, it was uh, such an interesting effect and it looked like a lot of the fake videos where they have something running with no means of uh, power and I tried different things and then uh, yesterday I thought well I was playing around with another pulse motor and I, I wondered if this rotor would spin up from the wind coming off of a pulse motor and it did. It ran just great with a little bit of breeze coming off of a spinning rotor. This is just a little pulse motor that I was playing with that I've got a very tiny um, reed switch inside there that's uh, triggering a transistor and, and causing this uh, pulse motor to run off a AA battery. Just something fun. And it was running this rotor just fine. And then I thought, you know what? I wonder if I'm actually seeing something different. And I was. And this is lens law. This is the lens effect right here. And uh, I thought I'd post this video because there's a whole bunch of videos showing the lens effect on an aluminum tube with a magnet. You drop the magnet down the aluminum tube and the magnet goes down real slow. Well, this is, uh, this is that same lens effect. And as those magnets spin around there, they're inducing a current in those little aluminum segments and pushing on that rotor. And this is basically riding the magnetic breeze off that spinning rotor. As that magnet rotor spins around, it's affecting those aluminum strips. And uh, these are some pieces of aluminum. This is a magnet here. And you can see it doesn't affect them at all. It's not magnetic. And there's a paper clip on that. Now I can slow this rotor down with this magnet. And here again it's the lens effect. Watch me slow this thing down. I can stop it here. I won't stop it completely. But uh, that's the lens effect going the other direction. Now I'm, I'm slowing it down. Now I'll let it speed up again. And that's the lens effect coming off of the spinning magnets on that rotor. And I thought that was really cool. I've never seen a... It's kind of like a magnetic gearing that I've shown in many, many of my videos where the uh, magnets link up and they gear. But this is a kind of a gearing using the lens effect and the drag of that magnetic field dragging on that aluminum, inducing a, actually a current in the uh, aluminum. But it's enough of a drag to spin it. And I just wonder if uh, we could make some very interesting little uh, motors using this lens effect. And I wonder if there was some way to wire up those segments on that rotor and you'd have a generator, basically, just like a regular uh, uh, generator effect uh, using a lens, lens law. But anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. I thought I would share that with the people. I've never seen it, uh, seen this lens effect demonstrated like this where you have a rotating rotor being spun up by a um, pulse motor. Anyway, that's just my little uh, lens uh, demonstration of something being run on the magnetic breeze of a pulse motor. Thanks for watching.